An exact definition of embedded system is hard to come by. In every sense, they are real computers having a CPU, memory, and some sort of I.O. capabilities. But they differ from general purpose computers because they carry out limited set of tasks within, a, within the domain of a larger system. Most often, the larger system is something other than a computer. Embedded system can be found in devices as simple and innocuous as coffee makers and as complex and critical as commercial aircraft. The basic difference is that microprocessors contain only the CPU. They do not have an inbuilt RAM or ROM, so this need to be added externally. Micro microcontrollers, however, are superior in the sense that they have a CPU as well as a fixed amount of RAM and ROM. There are a number of types of embedded system, such as standalone system that do not require a host. An example of this is video game consoles. Second is real-time embedded system, which runs specific tasks in specific time frames. Third is network embedded system, which are connected to a network. And last, mobile embedded system, which can be found in portable devices, as the name suggests. Embedded systems have an extremely important role. And because they are embedded, they are not interchangeable. This demonstrates their importance. If they were not essential to the overall system's operation, they would instead be modular and could be swept in and out to allow for new function or process. Other characteristics of an embedded system are that they are completely reactive, communicating through a sensor or actuator. If they do not offer the right response in real time, the response is considered incorrect and they will not function. Almost every mechanical, everyday device will have an embedded system inside it, including a washing machine. They are also regularly used in IT components too, such as routers and switches. Okay. So now let's proceed to the system unit component of washing machine. So a washing machine circuit board is actually a printed circuit board which is also known as PCB. So what is PCB? So PCB is a board with electrical parts for controlling uh, mach the machines and also a rigid flat board that holds and interconnect chips and other electric electronic components. So it's actually interconnect components via copper pathways that are etched into, into the board. Okay. So microcontroller is used in a washing machine to control all the tasks such as washing cycle and to drive the external output devices such as water drain. Okay, so basically, microcontroller can define as a single chip that contains the processor, non-volatile memory for program, which is ROM, uh, read-only memory, a volatile memory for input and output, which is RAM, read a random access memory, and a clock, and also input and output control unit. Okay. Okay, so microcontroller is designed for a specific task or to perform the assigned task repeatedly and it used an internal controlling bus. For example, in washing machine, it used PIC microcontroller to check through level sensors when closing and opening of valves uh, for adding water. Okay, and other than that, clock is used to synchronize operations. And but one of the sensor and actuators in washing machine is level sensors and motors that work as an input while washing Rinsing and spinning, which is the, the cycle in washing the process, the cycle process in washing machine, are the output. Washing machine has a CPU because they are a set of codes to be operated. Washing machines is called as embedded uh, computer because it has a microprocessor and it run on some programs which allow it to be controlled. The process required for a single instruction is called as instruction cycle using simplified two step which is the fetch cycle and the execute cycle program executions halts only happen if the machine is turned off or there are some unrecoverable error occurs or maybe a program instructions that halts a computer is encountered at the beginning of the instruction cycle the processor will fetch the instruction from the memory 
In a typical processor, a register will call the program counter or call as PC to, to hold the address of instruction to be fetched next. Unless thought otherwise, the processor will instrument a PC after each instruction fetch in order to to the next instructions to be in sequence. The CPU works in searching a data in the cache and in the ROM. So the CPU, at first, the CPU will look uh, data in the level 1 cache. If the data is not available in L1 cache, then it will look into the L2. If there are also not available data in the L2, then the CPU will look into the L3. And then if there are also no data available in the L3, then the CPU will move to the RAM, which is read access memory. And when the CPU find the data in the L, in the level 1 cache, then it's known as uh, cache heat. But if not, it is known as cache miss. All washing machines have RAM and ROM which is same is read access memory and ROM read only memory. This is because they do not store data when the power is turned off. The instructions are used to run the program are contained in the read only memory. In contrast, the RAM will hold the user data. As you already know, the comparison of RAM and ROM is RAM is a volatile memory, which is uh, it stores the file as you work on them. Meanwhile, the ROM is a non-volatile memory, which is uh, it will retain the data that you stored uh, if, even if the machine is turned off. So that means if we store data in the RAM, we can change and alter the data. But if we store the data in the ROM, we cannot alter the data and we cannot change it. It only can be read but not be written. Additionally, storing data in the RAM will make us easier to access the data. Meanwhile, when we store the data in the ROM, it can uh, protect our system information and programs. And it also performs a large input and output task. Also, in the ROM, the manufacturer places all the instructions for the system. The component inside of washing machine. First, Washing machine top. For your information, most washing machines have an inner and outer top. The inner top is called a wash basket, in tip load washers, and a dream in front load washers. The outer top catching the wash water, so it can be drained out. Second, washer agitator or impeller. An agitator is a central push that twists back and forth rubbing against closes to help break apart soils. An impeller is a cone or piece that rotates to closes against each other to help get them clean. Third, washing machine motto. The washer motto usually sits at the bottom of the washer in top load models and the back in front load models. Fourth, washing machine drain pump. The water drain pump is in the bottom of the washer, usually towards the back in top load models and the front in front load models. Fifth, washing machine water inlet valve. The water inlet valve is in the back of the washer toward the top. Next, washer drain hose. The drain hose exits the washing machine towards the bottom and travels up to the nearby sink or standpipe. The last one is washer console. The console houses the washer controls where you select cycles and options. That's all. Hmm, how it works. From this point and in a drum, this is where you put the clothes when you are ready to wash. You will notice this drum rotate a bit when you touch it and there are a lot of holes punched into the drum. Firstly, pedal. These are ridges that lie on the edge of the drum and help move your clothes around while being washed. Secondly, agitator. These are more common in top load machine and is a pedal in the middle that help turn the clothes around in the soupy water. Thirdly, the outer drum. 
This is not obvious when you look inside the washer. But there is another drum that hold the water while the inner drum or agitator rotate. This part is completely watertight to prevent your machine from leaking all over the place. Then, thermostat and healing elements. This control the temperature of the water and heat up the water to the specific temperature. Subsequently, pump. This remove the water from the drum after the wash. Next, programmer. This control the washing machine through all the steps from washing to rising and spin drying. Lastly, pipe and box. This allow the water in and out of the washer. The revolution of washing machine. In 1767, Jacob Christian Schaffer is the one who designed the first washing machine. However, James King, in 1851, is the original inventor, created the first washing machine to use a drum. Hamilton Smith, in 1858, patented a rotary version. In 1862, Richard Lansdale of Manchester invented a compound rotary washing machine with rollers for ringing or mangling. A barrel of 30 gallons capacity is hung upon four centers, mechanically arranged to produce a compound rotary motion, so that by the turning of a handle, the barrel containing the articles to be washed revolves to waves. In 1908, the first word commercial electronic washing machine, Thor, was invented. It was sold in the United States. Thor is believed the first electrically powered washer ever invented. In 1934, Louis and Imori Upton of Upton Machine patented an electric motor driven ringer washer. The company later became well known Walpole. In 1937, the first fully automatic washing machine appeared. In 1994, the System 2000 was launched. The only washing machine in the USA that had a higher load but a horizontal rotation. This creates a unique pumping action that forces the water through the clothes basket and gently tumbles the clothes to clean better. In 2001, Whirlpool launched the first washing machine with vertical axis and top loading. The top loading and the vertical axis is an efficient design that was invented in US. This design loaded the clothes through the top of the machine that is contained with water retaining top with a faint water pumping aggregator in the center of the bottom of the basket. In 2007, the Sanyo Aqua is the world's first drum washing machine to feature an air wash function that pushes air through clothing to disinfect and deodorize. It recycles water by storing and disinfecting final wash water through the use of tiny air bubbles. In 2014, LG announced that their new washing machine can be able to interact with the user through home chat in their phone. LG is using the Internet of Things or IoT concept. IoT is the connection of smart object and internet. IoT is the another name for an embedded system. LG Home Appliances are typical embedded systems which interact with the physical world with their main logic controlled by the software. To conclude all of this, washing clothes is not a difficult task since it is now an embedded system. You just have to add clothes and leave them to the machine. The rest of the operations are done by your machine itself. The washing machines have a microcontroller for controlling all the tasks. The sensors and actuators in this case are level sensors, bells, motors, and also a display and keypad to input information. Closing and opening of valves for adding water is checked through level sensors by microcontroller like PIC microcontroller. All the processes are controlled by microcontroller program. The timings for each cycle can be easily changed through the keypad. Washing, rinsing and spinning is now can be done by the machine itself. You just have to press the start button.